What's up everybody and welcome back to another news video. Today we have a double header for GMAC because they are in the news twice this week. We're going to be talking about EU being the test region in GMAC Cash Cup Extra, BL's potential new signings and GMAC still hasn't paid their players since 2020. So let's get into it. Now the first story isn't that big of a deal, but it is fitting that we end the year of trios, the last trio tournament for EU, with a little bit of drama and a little bit of chaos. Now, during the DreamHack Cash Cup Extra, all of the players, for those of you that don't know, are queued into one custom lobby and you're able to play that tournament. Now, what happened basically is that everyone wasn't able to get in. I'm pretty sure only three or four of the trios that actually qualified got into the lobby and what ended up happening was that a bunch of random trios were able to play Dream at Cash Cup Extra. Now, this, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. Obviously, it's a bit annoying for the players because you're going to be missing out on being warmed up and you're going to be missing out on, you know, that anxiety of playing in the tournament but you know it's fine because we're going to be able to get into it into the next game right well no because it happened twice in a row so i'm not sure exactly how this happened um it must have been some buggy coding or whatever you know typical but you know it is what it is and in the end it didn't really matter too much except for some russian players i feel bad for them because in russia there's a two hour time difference between russia and many of the other european regions such as amsterdam time or even uk time the three hour difference so someone like malabuka for example who did make money and qualified for this tournament had to play until 2 a.m you know on a school night so there's definitely issues here with that but and unfortunately that is just the nature of the game that we play and when you have tournaments on weekdays like this and there's even the tiniest of delays uh that's uh, that's just what you're gonna get so pretty unfortunate for malabuka but he did end up placing very very well he got third place now the other thing i want to talk about is the snakening that happened beforehand now this was all caused by thomas hd not being able to play the tournament because he was busy with a charity stream for astralis obviously he's in an org now so he has a lot more organizational obligations so that sparked a massive sneakening on twitter initially with queasy and anas trying to find a trio and then veno instantly jumping on board and playing with them and then that caused one of the other trios of josie to go back to diox and crow who was the trio that veno snaked and then aware and Leo the Crack then were missing a trio. Jalen's internet went out, so his trio snaked them. And then Jalen's paid someone to play with him. And it was it was a it was just a mess. It was it was honestly just a mess. And it goes to show that we should probably have things in place to prevent this because you don't want this sort of sneaking happening. It ruins the competitive integrity as well as the trios that worked hard to qualify for this tournament. In the end, though, the snaking did succeed, and Veno, Queasy, and Anas won the DreamHack tournament with a total of four wins, which is very, very impressive. And just goes to show that even if you replace one of the core members, the integral playstyle of Queasy Anis and Thomas H.E. is still there. So, very, very impressive stuff. The second thing I want to talk about is BL's potential new signing. Well, Reno tweeted out, let's effing go. It's official GIF. And that usually means in the Fortnite community that someone got signed to the organization. Although it is weird for the owner to tweet it out. So what does this exactly mean? Now, a lot of people are speculating BL Aqua. However, the timeline doesn't fit because Aqua posted his much, much before this GIF as well. Then we see the retweet from Seti who refers to a GIF of a house. So um, more than likely this assumes that Reno has signed the contract for a house that could potentially be the BL gaming house that we're referring to in the vlogs. We saw them in one of the vlogs looking at a gaming house and finding out, you know, if there's good ping, if there's good internet. Um, so this is probably a reference to that. One of the general managers, Elix, he also tweeted out eye emojis with a Polish flag. So we can only assume that there is going to be a BL gaming house in Poland. So that should be very interesting to see because they only have one Polish player. They do have content creators in the organization, but the only Polish player that they have is Seti, right? So if they only have Seti, why would they have the house in Poland unless they're trying to sign another Polish player possibly? Looking at the top free agents list by eSports Performance, we can see that there are 10 free agents that have insane amount of potential. Kami, Queezy, Creo, Diox, Hellfire, Fast Roki, ETQ, Chico, and Pablo Wingo, and x -Squeeze. All these guys have massive potential, and the one who's right there at the top is Kami FN. So, could BL be signing 
a contract with Kami alongside that house. That would make sense because it's two Polish players now. However, from what I have heard, Kami's English isn't the best compared to Seti. Seti is a lot more comfortable speaking English compared to Kami. So whether or not Kami would be a good fit is very tough to say because... Obviously, if you're going to be joining BL, you need to be a part of the vlogs. And being a part of the vlogs means speaking a lot of English and showing your personality in that sense. So I don't see Kami really fitting into it. So I wonder, just wonder what they are going to be doing. Maybe there is going to be another Polish sighting. Or maybe the house is just something separate from everything else. And they're just going to have a gaming house and then maybe sign more potential players in the future. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is DreamHack still not paying their players. Now, this is about a tournament almost one year ago and even further for some players as well. So this story starts a little bit after the dream hack finished we know that that a player called flecken has on his fortnite tracker page the sixteen thousand dollar earnings for first place now obviously this is incorrect because this is the dream hack that teak won what happened here let us start at the beginning in november 26 of 2020 flecken tweeted out a picture of his earnings from DreamHack. Now, if you notice this picture, there's something very wrong here because he got paid out $16,000, which is the amount that you get for winning DreamHack. Well, this is probably the money that Teak is required to get, but is being paid out to a different player who has now claimed those earnings. Now, I think this is the core reason of what went wrong here. They paid out the wrong player, didn't realize, and now we're, you know, a year ahead and nothing has really been done since then. So all of these players, we have RefScot still not being paid. We have Teak still not being paid. We have a bunch of different pro players. Frey's also missing his money. We have Vortex and Flowers, for example, got paid the wrong amount. He got paid too little, according to him as well. So there is a mess here. I think the leaderboard order got messed up somehow and a bunch of people don't have the money. So what does that mean for them? I'm not too sure because it's a year further on. We haven't heard anything about it. Hopefully, these guys can get their money back and paid off. And this is a big problem because for a lot of these guys, this is a lot of money, right? $16,000. And obviously, they have different salaries and different income sources. But if I'm losing out on $16,000 and it's a year later, there's a lot of things I could have done with that money. And that money would have been, you know invested you could have put the money into something else and it would have gained more money you know the uh the possibilities here are, are plenty and this is a big big issue now this i thought was the only reason why this messed up right they paid the wrong guy and that's it well it continues on even further because andalex still hasn't been paid from dreamhack anaheim the lan event in february of 2020 so we're almost two years further now and my man is still missing his ten thousand dollars from a lan event now, this was a bit, a bit weird because there's not that many other people who didn't get paid. Anlex was one of the few. The only other person I could find was Sparebo, who was at that DreamHack Anaheim, who also hasn't been paid. And there's some other recorded cases, like Mexi also apparently didn't get paid. A player called Louise also hasn't been paid. And for the people that did get paid, they didn't have to fill out a form. They didn't have to do anything. The money just transferred to their PayPal, and that's it. So, not really sure what's going on there, but it's a very weird situation from DreamHack, to say the least. And the weird thing is, talking to some of the players that have been paid, they just got paid to their PayPal, and they never gave DreamHack their PayPal. So I don't know how their payment system works, but this is a super weird situation from them, and, and definitely didn't expect it from such a big organization like DreamHack to occur. So um, I'd love to hear some answers and see some sort of response, but so far we haven't seen anyone really talk about it other than the people that tweeted about it. But that is pretty much it for the stories of this week. It is off season, so not too much happening. But, you know, we'll be back in the swing of things once we get into the new season. I'm sure there'll be a lot of duo snaking news that we're going to be talking about and a lot more different stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. Please comment on it and tell me what you think about the whole GMAC situation. And who do you think BL is actually signing to the organization? Do you think Aqua could be the one? Do you think Kami's a good fit? Who knows? Have a good day, guys. See ya.